you know, I, I kind of like to sing, and then I know, you know, people know I'm a truck driver, and I kind of like to turn things around and, you know, make my own little version of things. Uh, uh, does that sound a little bit better? I'm reading it. There's a truck pulling out here tonight. Destination New Orleans. Dispatch tells me that my butt is on the line. Says that's right where I need to be. Lately I've been on the road more than I've been home. All this leaving her alone is killing me. Holding her right now has got me thinking more and more. This is right where Sound a little crazy to you? Yeah. There's a truck rolling out of here tonight. But I ain't in the driver's seat. I finally got all my priorities in line. And I'm right where I need to be. against me when I sleep. Now when I kiss her, I will miss her any time that I want to. Yeah, that's right where I need to be. and then I'm going to smash it. Farmer and a teacher, a hooker and a preacher, riding on a midnight bus bound for Mexico. One was heading for vacation, one for higher education. Two of them were searching for lost souls That driver never ever saw the stop sign Eighteen wheelers can't stop on a dime and There are three wooden crosses on the right side of the highway Why there's not four of them Heaven only knows, I guess it's not what you think When you leave this world behind you It's what you leave behind you when you go well, That farmer lived to harvest a home in 80 acres Faith and a love for growing things in his young son's heart that teacher left her wisdom in the minds of lots of children Did her best to give them all a better start And the preacher whispered, can't you see the promised land As he laid his blood-stained Bible in that hooker's hands There are three wooden crosses on the right side of the Way. Why there's not four of them, heaven only knows, I guess 
it's not what you take when you leave this world behind you it's what you leave behind you when you go well, that's a story that our preacher told last sunday as he held that bloodstained bible up for all of us to see said bless the farmer and the preacher Gave this Bible to my mama, who read it to me. There are three wooden crosses on the right side of the highway. Why there's not four of them, now I guess we know. It's not what you take when you leave this world behind you. Leave behind you when you go. There are three wooden crosses on the right side of the highway. Yeah. Uh, thank you, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. Now, a lot of you guys know I just come out with a CD. I just picked them up yesterday, and uh, I know not everybody's buying them, so. I figured what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually sing the songs on the album for you. Anybody want to hear what songs are on the new album? Yeah. yeah! Okay, now let's ask the people over in the tent. Hey guys, in the tent! Stop eating. Come listen to me. <laughs> and uh, no show that I would do is ever complete without Ring of Fire. So I had to throw that on the album. Sorry, Mr. Sound Guy, didn't mean to do that to you either. Love is a burning thing. It makes a fiery rain. Bound by wild desire. Went down, 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 and the flames went higher. It burns, 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 the ring of fire, the ring of fire. Let's get some more people over here. I fell into a burning ring of fire Went down, down, down And the flames went higher It burns, burns, burns The ring of fire The ring of fire The taste of love is sweet When arms like our Coast to coast 
Had a five year plan to be back home with the one he loves the most. With the kids all grown, vacation now and then. Little place that they could call their own, little money to spend. So he wrote her a poem, sent it to her every night. From a cell phone Right about bedtime Every mile I leave behind me Is one mile closer to you We never dreamed it all those years ago But this is what we gotta do Just a few more thousand miles to run And our dreams will all come true Cause every mile I leave behind me one mile closer to you. I choke up when I do that part. It gets worse. It was the middle of night. Coming down that pass. They still talk about it to this day. Between a steel and broken glass. Forty-two kids and families to thank him today As his life would end, he press in with all he needed to say Every mile I leave behind me is one mile closer to you We never dreamed that this would happen, but it's what I gotta do just a few more miles down the road And our dreams would all come true Cause every mile I leave behind me Girl, it's one mile closer to you behind me is one mile closer to you never dreamed it all those years ago but it's what we gotta do every mile I leave behind me one mile closer. Uh, no, you gotta hold on just a minute. <laughs> my, my wife, she, she just, she balls her eyes out because she finally listened to the words. And uh, it's something that happens out here every day. You know, drivers have accidents. They die in accidents. We go to bed in our trucks. We don't wake up. And uh, that's why, you know, on, on the, oh crap. <laughs> on my CD, I, I, I wanted to especially thank uh, Missing Truck Driver Alert Network for the fine work that they do. Uh, you know, when a driver goes missing, they, they go the extra mile, they, they try to find them, and they, they've got a great network of uh, people and truck stops that, you know, go out and actively search for the driver that's missing. And, and a lot of times when they find the driver, it, it's not a good scene. Uh, you know, the drivers, we're all human, we all die. And uh, there's another organization, truckersfinalmile.org, and the services that they provide are just, they help drivers get home. They make, oh crap, what? <laughs> yeah, it's just go on the websites and, and check out these, you know, two different organizations for getting you know, drivers home. 
I'm a driver and that's my biggest fear is that something's going to happen to me and uh, you know my wife's going to have to deal with this alone and, and she's not there's people out there that can help so but that's what that song's all about is you know a driver who just didn't make it home uh. Yep, I'm going to take a drink. I'm going to get my crap back together. And we're going to do another song. There's a moon. As it was just yesterday And that old man before me Been a while since he's seen for him He still lives in yesterday But he still plays guitar Still likes to sing in them bars like he did back in 78 He still loves them old fast cars Old Harleys and a good guitar And women about half his age He's living in good old days Still living in good old days Still living in good old days Next one. Somebody shouted it. They wanted to hear it. <laughs> now, now, is there something wrong with this? Or okay, now, everybody knows I couldn't do an album without detention. So, but I did cheat a little bit on this one. I did. Now, cowboy here. Or, no, I'm sorry. John said he was going to buy me this thing to stick in my mouth so that I could actually whistle the part at the end. And, because everybody knows Brad James can't whistle. <laughs> so I actually cheated. I had somebody do the whistling for me. So. 
Yep, I'm gonna drive the sound man crazy. Sitting in the morning sun, I'll be sitting when the evening comes. Just watching other trucks roll in, and then I watch them roll away again. I've been backed up to this dock all day, just watching the other trucks roll away. Sitting at the dock all day, just wasting time. Let my home in Georgia headed for the Frisco Bay. I've got freight to deliver. Looks like a Attention for you. Now, fortunately, I work for a company that pays me twenty dollars an hour. Yes, they do pay me twenty dollars an hour. Now, how many of you guys are out here are owner operators? Yeah. yeah. See, now this is where you guys got me beat. No, 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 no. How fast does your truck go? How fast does your truck go? I don't know. We had it fixed. Okay. <laughs> how fast does your truck go? Upper, yeah, yeah, mine does. 63. That's with the pedal, yeah. <laughs> if I turn my cruise control on, I can get 65 out of it. <laughs> so we wrote a little song about it. So y'all just get out of my way. Got a two. Stretched out, Peter will do 3406. His cat likes a bull flying down the interstate 13 on the stick. Got a stack of paper logs like we used to use yesterday when we still drove our trucks with pride. But now they cut back, my horses got a knee log on the dash. Now I'm always running behind. Well, they tell me it's for safety, but I'm way below the limit Cause they're taking all my power away I'm cut back so slow when a bug hits my windshield It says, get the hell out of my way Looks good at sitting in the truck stop, even running down the road. But now it 
Takes me eight hours just to cross Arizona Thank God I'm not pulling a load Oh, how I miss the days of pedal to the metal And trying to outrun the wind I think the speed through school is always good to get a ticket So I feel like a trucker again Well, they tell me it's for safety But I'm way below the limit Cause they take it all my power away I've got back so slow when a bug hits my windshield It says get the hell out of my way I got a decap recap hanging on my trailer And it's beating my mud flap to death I can't get up enough speed to leave it on the highway So I'll pass the scales holding my breath I'm doing 60 miles an hour but the speed limit is 80 They think there's nothing wrong with that Got back so slow that I'm gonna make a video Then I'm gonna take me a nap Well, they tell me it's for safety But I'm way below the limit Cause they take it all my power away I'm coming back so slow When a bug hits my windshield It says get the hell out of my way I'm coming back so slow When a bug hits my windshield It says Get the hell out of my way So there you have it, owner-operators. I get paid attention. You get to run like hell out there and leave me in your dust. Bye. 
cup that's made from wherever they make it loaded up and we bring it to you 600 miles screaming through the night while the world is still in bed rounds a few and some sleep and a little bite to eat and then do it all over again Bill wrote that one too. <laughs> uh, listen, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. Um, do, do we have? We got a couple of announcements here to make. You gonna give me a check? No. Okay. Uh, you're holding that piece of paper like you wanted to give it to me. So. <laughs> Is that what you wanted? <laughs> oh yeah, everybody, I, I do have some CDs over here. Uh, just see Miss Deborah here and, and I'll go ahead and sign some of them if you want. I think she's got my pen. Okay, I'm gonna take... <laughs> All right, um, I have my safety director here today. Um, we have a check for the Christmas group truckers Christmas group and uh, uh, we have a individual last year that was fell on hard times in my group and uh, they uh, the Christmas group stepped up and did what they always do for a lot of people not just for him but for a bunch of people so uh, Bruno you can tell them a little bit about first choice and all the good stuff they do and you can do them give them a check Hello everybody, Don and I work for First Choice Logistics, uh, our main terminal is in Chicago and uh, it's a great bunch of people that I work for and with, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a family organization and uh, uh, for whatever reason our president has taken quite a shine to Don and, uh, and, and appreciates what Don does for us and for people all around the country in general. So. All right, so part of what uh, Rich Jousma, our president, is giving a uh, $1,250 check to Truckers Christmas Group yeah. for, for Don and everybody involved in that, okay? 
my first time here and I'm enjoying it immensely. I'm a retired driver myself. I'm now a safety manager, but I'm enjoying it. So thanks, thanks for the hospitality and uh, have a great time. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, Truckers Christmas Group has uh, been around since 2008. And last year was our first year on our own authority. We've been hosted by other charities in the past. Um, we were able to help uh, 100 and one, 112 families, I believe, over the last seven years uh, with $66,000. And that's all through your guys' help, donations from, from good people like this. And last year we were able to help 12 families be able to have a Christmas uh, with $6,000 that we raised. So, thank you very much. Well, all right, Idella and Chad, everybody, I don't know if anybody knows who Chad is. Chad's one of the hardest working great guys he helps me out anytime I need help you know when he fell down on hard times I happen to call these great people and give him a good word Chad you can tell him what you want to tell him I just want to uh, say thank you to to these guys Don thanks for uh, making the phone call and, and blue out there he's part of it too and uh, yeah, I had some hard times, and me and my wife, we just, we got through it with the great friends that we got here, and Viola and Mark, and everything else, so uh, I want to thank you guys again, I really appreciate it, and I will still be putting my donation in. Thank you. All right, thank you guys.